Hey, 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 it is Monday. It is 6.03 p.m. and we are back. This is Create Your Future Self Live with Vic and Laquita. And today we have an amazing guest with us, uh, Dr. Amanda. And I'm going to let her give you her moniker. So, because I don't think I'll do it some, any justice right now. But it's amazing, right? It is amazing. She has an amazing story. Um, some great things to share with us on today. And I'm super excited about it. And as always, my, my great co-host, uh, Victor the Don of Nico Don Projects. And I am Laquita Monley. I am the military spouse that provides work from home positions for other military spouses, dependents, as well as civilians. And we're coming to you today with Create Your Future Self Live. And we hope that you'll be able to find some value in this discussion that will help you to create your future self. But hey guys, what's going on? How was your weekend? How was everybody? What's everybody doing on this beautiful Monday while we're in quarantine? Beautiful stuff going on. Very happy to have you, Dr. Amanda. I'm going to give you a proper introduction here in a second. Um, <laughs> the weekend was great. It's beautiful weather across most of the country. Uh, I know here in North Dallas area in Carrollton, 80 degrees, 85 degrees wow. for the last like five, six days. Everybody just looking out the window like, man. Wish we could go outside and do something, but doing our walks and stuff. But it's been a really good, good uh, month of April. So we're going to shut this thing down. We have a great mindset coach, Dr. Amanda. I met Dr. Amanda because on LinkedIn, most people know I'm always putting out video content. I like dropping little nuggets, Mindset Monday, Wealthy Wednesday, Finance Friday tips, you know, just anything motivational. And when I make a new connection on LinkedIn, I kind of I'm a little bit different than a lot of people. I'm giving up some of my, my nuggets here, but I like to send a video introduction to people just to kind of a hey, what I like to do. I love inspiring people, giving people some actionable items and things like that. And for the first time in maybe a hundred video uh, introductions I've sent out, Dr. Amanda sends me back a video, Laquita. Like, oh, <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> and it was just so cool. I was inspired myself. I'm usually the inspirational. And then she gave me inspiration. So, Dr. Amanda, I'm so happy to have you here on Create Your Future Self Live. She is a, a mindset coach. She helps business leaders out there to help get their business unstuck and more productive and successful and helps you financially overcome those financial roadblocks. So there's a lot of alignment, obviously, with what we do. But Dr. Amanda, welcome to our show. How are you today? Hey, thanks so much for having me. I love that so much because I agree. I have I don't think you are the only person I've gotten a video from so far. Wow. And I, yeah. Yeah. So, wow. you know, it, it works. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. we got to do it. You know, you got to stand out, especially in now with social media. Everybody is on it. Everybody's doing something on there now, kind of forced to do it. But Dr. Amanda is the CEO of a company called NFA. No effing around. There's no effing around. We're not going to say the full <laughs> F word, but you know what effing is. Yeah. So her company, no effing around coaching. And I love that because it's very transparent. It's straight to the point. How did you get that business name, Dr. Amanda? <laughs> I love it. Um, you know, it actually started in sports when I was a kid in high school. There was a volleyball league at the rec center, and I had decided to switch from volleyball to swimming year round. And so I still wanted to play volleyball, but the volleyball league was only adults. And I was still in high school. So I was like, hey, dad, you set up a team for us and I'll get all my friends together and we'll we'll be like, just, you know, beat all the adults. And he was like, sure. So I got all my friends together and we created a team and we were at the meeting and they're like, what do you want to name our team? And I said, NFA. No, you know, no <laughs> effing around. <laughs> and wow. everyone was like, yeah. And all of the people we played against never knew what it meant other than they thought it meant no effing adults. Which, wow. is, which was funny. But then <laughs> I've been an athlete, you know, since I was young and every sports team that I ever created, I call this team NFA. And then one day oh, I was God. coaching and this client said to me, geez, you're like my tough love dad, but you're also really loving. And I said, here's the thing. I'm not effing around. I care about your transformation and I'm going to show up powerfully and I want you to, too. And it, and then I shared that with someone and it stuck and they're like, I like that. That's true. And then I put it on my Instagram bio 
And, <laughs> and this person saw it and invited me on a podcast because she's like, you're awesome. And so I thought this, okay. So I ended up rebranding my business. Out. Yeah. So that, <laughs> and then I went with it. And so now like where I live in Boulder, Colorado, I'll see people around town. They'll be like, NFA. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. NFA mindset, money and manifestation tricks. And, you know, Laquita and I have been doing this, this broadcast every Monday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, since like January 2019. Nice. And we're very big on helping our audience tap into their mindset so that they can overcome those blocks that usually hold us back from the success that we really want in our life. And so, you know, I'm, I looked at some of your testimonials on your website and things like that, and just kind of share with us, I guess, who is your target customer? Who are you really trying to target out there? Or who have you kind of had your most success with helping with their mindset? You know, when I started, I kind of worked with almost everybody and it's it's been fi more finely tuned down to, to entrepreneurs. I work with all business owners. I work with a lot of couples who are business owners, but it really is the people who are in that more beginning stage of a business where they haven't yet broken through the six figure mark. And the reason for that is because I went from food stamps to six figures in under three years. And I broke the six figure mark in the first full time year of my business. And so I really, really love helping people set their minds up, set up powerfully to break through that barrier, to leave their boss, to, have, you know, like uh, it's cool. One of my clients, I love the way that they phrase it. They said, I want you to teach me the entrepreneur mindset because I'm stuck in the W2 mindset. Mm -hmm. So, so a lot of the people I work with are people who are really wanting that, but they are scared. They might have be scared. I call it inner critic doubts. So moving from the inner critic to the inner boss. So they're going, okay, I'm a I want it, but I'm afraid. I, I I want to be able to have six figures, but I don't even know if I believe in myself enough to do it. I don't know if I deserve it. I have all these money blocks. So I help people break through those those barriers of themselves, really. And it starts with your mind. So, you know, I help people their mind with their money and so that they can manifest the exact vision they want. And most people that look might look different, whatever level of success they want to get to. It might be the seven figure mark, the eight figure mark. It might be that they just want to make 50,000 extra bucks so that they can go on vacations every year with their family. Whatever that is, I want to help them get powerfully aligned in their mindset. So I'd say it's that kind of first phase entrepreneurship where you're like, okay, I'm stepping into powerful business ownership and I need to align my mind to do that. Awesome. Yeah. 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 That's, that's, that's awesome. Those are um, some, like Vic said, those are some of the things that we discuss um, on our show and it's how I know I can't get credit for the name of the show that totally came from Victor. Um, <laughs> but it's some of the things that we dis discuss, whether you are, um, a career minded person who just wants to climb the corporate ladder or if you're an entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneur, the main thing that you have to get uh, get it together first is your mindset, even more importantly uh, than your money, because if you don't have the right mindset, yeah, uh, having the money, you'll have it in one hand and then it's gone and you won't have a yeah. um, any of your goals that you wanted to reach because you didn't have the proper mindset. Though. So uh, I really love uh, what you're doing and your name that's pretty cool thank you <laughs> that's pretty cool. that'll make me stop and say what let me go back and look at that right, yeah that. It, it definitely filters out people that don't you know the people are like i don't like that i'm like okay that's cool we won't yeah. we don't have to work together not everyone right. wants to work with me you know <laughs> well the thing is that that really i think a lot of our audience can relate to is you know you are a single mom or maybe still are but the big thing in your bio you mentioned is that after an affair getting divorced and having your yeah. next relationship fall apart. You're on survival mode, you're on food stamps, and you're trying to still work your way through grad school as a single mom. Tell us about that whole transition, what was going on. I assume you weren't the cheater, somebody else was, but yeah, tell us a little bit about that whole. Well, thing. you assume wrong, actually. Ah! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I kind of knew the way you wrote it, but I was like, oh. I was, I was like, like you said that, I was like, mm, that wasn't my interpretation, but okay, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's you know, no open around. Let's talk I'm, about it. I'm really open about it because here's the thing when we carry shame and guilt about something, it keeps us held back because it creates a lot of self 
self-doubt and, and negative self-beliefs and you can't work through it. And so the more transparent I am with you and the people I work with and all the people that are joining, thank you everyone for joining. It, it helps you to realize like, hey, we've all been there. We've all done certain things that we wish we had done differently and or what can we learn from what we did you know so it's like for me i you know i left my 15 year marriage mar 15 year marriage having an affair i got married very young we got pregnant i dropped out of school we ended up having three kids we were together for 15 years and then when i went back to school i ended up meeting someone i had an affair i told my husband and i we tried to work it out it didn't work I really did not have the skills to have a relationship well. You know, I, I didn't have that model as a kid. He didn't have that model. And I didn't know a way to blow it up other than that at the time. You know, I, I wouldn't choose the same thing now, but that was what I did. And I held a lot of shame about it for a long time. And I was, a, I was really big into blaming other people for my reality. Like I blamed him for, you know, it was like I had the affair and it's your fault basically was my take on it <laughs> for a long time. And, you know, then I'm, that next relationship I got into, we had lots of years of challenge, ups and downs. It wasn't working. We moved in, we moved out. It was very, very challenging because I was just starting to move in that direction of like, uh oh, I'm the center of this problem. And so, you know, when that I we I got divorced, new relationship not working out, here I am having to move. I thought I was going to be homeless because Boulder, Colorado is very, very expensive. And at the time as a grad student, I was making, bringing home maybe $1,800 a month and the rents are $2,000 and up. And I'm just going, oh crap, where do I live? I ended up moving into subsidized housing, but then my ex-husband lost his job. No, no child support. And I'm like, super ashamed. My free counselor said, you've got to go get on food stamps. Like you, you've got, you got to let go of this shame piece around it. And it was rough. You know, I would walk through the grocery store and like, look at the checkout people and go, which one's going to judge me the least for having right. food stamps? Oh yeah, been there. <laughs> like yep. so yep. embarrassing yep. to me, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it was hard. And, and, but at, in that process, it was such a gift because what it forced me to do is look at myself and go, I am the creator. I started to realize I'm the creator of my reality because I turned to podcasts, which was so cool. I started going, okay, I'm the center of my problems. I got to start looking at myself. I started listening to every podcast I could possibly listen to. And it was mostly about relationships at first. And then that turned into me thinking about money, you know, and going like, okay, if I'm the center of my reality and I don't like my outcomes, what do I need to change about myself? So I started changing myself. It started working and people started asking me what I was doing. And then I was like, Hmm. I think I want to be a coach. <laughs> it was it was a really wild process because I had been going to grad school for years to be a professor, and at the same time, all these all my friends were you know applying to jobs and they weren't getting very many. Uh, they, there weren't very many options and they were very low pay. Like everyone thinks professors are pretty prestigious. They don't make very much money and they have to move to places that they, you don't really want to live. Mm -hmm. And, and so I was like, Oh, I'm not going to leave Boulder. My kid, you know, my family's here. My kids are here every, I've been here for 23 years. I don't want to move to Kansas and make 50 grand a year. Like that's, that, I'm never going to pay off my student loans. And so I started to pl it planted the seed, like, Oh, I could be a coach. And, and then I just went for it and, and I, I implemented everything I learned, you know, to the best of my capabilities as fast as I could. And then that first year that I got out of grad school, I just went for it all the way. Like I was in all the way <laughs> and wow. I, you know, it was like no food stamps went to six figures in the first year. And now I'm just, you know, and then my next goal is seven figures and wow. I'm, I'm sure I'll get there. Yes, you will. will. <laughs> you will. <laughs> you will definitely. Wow. You know, it's um I know it's teasing teasing Vic about assuming that the situation went in the reverse. And I think that's just like probably just a common thing because you know, yeah. guys do this or whatever. But um I love the fact of how you um highlighted the the shame that you felt and being able to overcome that because I think that's something that people experience. It even if they don't have that piece of um, with dealing with your uh, having cheated in your marriage, yeah. but when uh, talking to a lot of entrepreneurs, especially when they're getting started or if they're currently in it and they've made some mistakes or whatever, shame really plays a major part in people not wanting to move forward or being stuck in a certain mindset. It's like, okay, I'm at this age right now. I should know better. I should have done better. You know, yeah. you know, what mistakes that I make in my past that are preventing me from being able to move forward and what it is that I want to do. And 
for you to be able to make that shift um, in a year's time is amazing. And yeah. could you could you say like what was some were there key triggers or or key milestones that you hit in that process that says okay nope I'm not going to be ashamed about what happened in the marriage I'm not going to be ashamed about the public assistance you know I'm not going to be ashamed about all these things because I want to be a coach so now what do I need to do in order to move in that direction were there like key things that happened or it was just like you know what what can I lose? Let's get it. You know, let's go. Yeah. It's such a good question. And let me clarify first too. It wasn't a year that I went from food stamps to six figures. It was like a three year process really like of mm -hmm. where I started, I started listening to podcasts and watching YouTube, like all the free stuff I could get my hands on. And then I started getting my working my way into working with coaches and d doing what I needed to do in those areas. And, and so in part, the decision was immediate. Like the decision was like, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to shift out of this reality because I'm the center of it and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. So that decision was immediate, but the process has been a journey. I mean, I still uncover layers of myself all the time, right? Like, I don't think we ever get there and then we're at the top and we're like, I got it all figured out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, it's been a journey and a process and things just, you know, come up. And as they come up, now I have the tools to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And I would say the shame piece was huge. So I was raised in a fundamentalist Christian family mm -hmm. and it, it produced a lot of shame and guilt for me, a lot, a lot, a lot. And mm -hmm. so everything I did was run by shame and guilt and fear of mm -hmm. burning in hell for all of eternity was like the way I was raised. And mm -hmm. so it, it, it created a lot of fear and a lot of hiding and a lot of not able to be my authentic self because I felt a lot of fear around it. And so, uh, you know, what, what uh, it was, it was cool. One of the first things I went to in on the journey was uh, there was this lecture in Denver and it was 35 bucks. And I'd run into this guy from this relationship course I was taking. And I thought, oh, I got to go see this because I'm thinking about going that direction. He's a speaker. The topic sounds cool. And I took in this two hour lecture, 25 pages of notes. I was like, holy moly, I've never seen, heard anything so powerful in my life. And then it, it was a really cool way that he did it. He does this $35 lecture and then he promotes the weekend that's coming up mm -hmm. for $2,000. I'm on food stamps. I'm like, oh no, how am I going to get there? But the cool thing was I asked, like, do you give scholarships? Can I get there? And they're like, you got to get resourceful. And I got resourceful. I figured it out. I ended up re remembering that I had this computer loan that I had never accessed in all my years of grad school that I could take <laughs> out. So I took out a loan and they paid me right away. And I was able to go to this weekend workshop and that weekend nice. workshop changed my life. Like, so for anyone out there who's listening, like if there's something that you're called to do in the direction of investing in yourself, mm -hmm. go for it. Like I have, I have never regretted spending any of the money I've spent on myself to invest in me and bettering myself. And that workshop, I ended up becoming a facilitator. So his name's John Demartini. And so I'm a Demartini facilitator and uh, he does values as well. So in that, the whole tool is designed, It's he calls it the Demartini method. It's designed to help you release shame, fear, or shame, guilt, shame, guilt, resentment, infatuation. Balance your perception so you can get to a place of neutrality and love and see everything as neutral and it's just our perception that makes hmm. it not so hmm. Hmm. and and so i'm very big on helping people balance out their perception of what's happening around them so that they can step into that place of personal power instead of fear and guilt or pride right because the opposite yeah. side of shame is pride right. so if you're mm -hmm. too narcissistic you're not going to be able to help people if you're too shameful you're not going to be able to help people you got to get into that poised place of balance mm -hmm. so that's what that whole tool does so that changed my that i mean that completely transformed my life Wow. That, yeah, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, in, in the real estate space, we always hear um, leveraging other people's income or leveraging other people's money in order to get your deal done. And that's yeah. literally what you did. That's literally what you did. You leveraged something in order to get what you needed done, which was getting into the conference. And your ROI is today oh. you're sitting here teaching other people how to be um, a, a better them and a six figure income earner in yeah. whatever it is that they're doing in their entrepreneurship journey. So I, I do believe you got a really great win right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's tremendous. Yeah. I want to piggyback off of that as well. I mean, again, we call this, this whole broadcast, create your future. self. so everybody we talk to has either come from somewhere or is headed somewhere. 
we talked to a couple last week that started their business uh, right in, amongst the time where the wife was fighting cancer for probably the third or fourth time. Yeah. Um, you know, they were it was right after the whole 07, 08 debacle, financial debacle for our country. So there were every there was every reason for them to not start a business, to fail at the business. And, you know, I asked them, so, OK, you guys talk about how you were going through these chemotherapy sessions and starting a business at the same time. I think she said she was literally in the hospital when they were no, doing some going type of chemo. closing or she some type of chemo you know. and then come back from yeah. chemo and go and they started a car dealership and knowing nothing about yeah while she's in the bed you know going through this wow. and came back home with the idea that I want to own a dealership right and it was like the next day of the day after a couple of days later they went through the research process to figure out what it took and they figured out it was going to take more money than that and by the end of the day uh, within 30 it. days, within 30 days of them having idea, they were into reality. So cool. Yeah, they were into yeah. reality. Wow. That's where I was yeah. going with it. It's like fighting for your, her life. Like your fighting. passion for yes. what you were doing, you overcame that two thousand dollars. That could have been the stumbling block. That could have been it. Nope, I'm done. I'm gonna take these 25 pages of notes and I'm just gonna figure this thing out. But no, you found a way, and more importantly, the way presented itself because you mm -hmm. were desirous for it. And so I just, yeah. again, want to continue to encourage people out there. You're starting a business. You're trying to move up into your career. Whatever you're doing, the world will will adjust to you if your desire is big enough for it. Yeah. You can envision yourself doing it and you put the work in, the road just opens up for you. You don't have to figure out how it's going to happen. You just got to be committed to it and let it all happen. So I applaud you, Dr. Amanda, because, again, you're another example of how dedication can really get you to the place where you really want to be. I, I assume you it. share that with your with your clients as well, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. OK. And you want to know what happens. There's actually neuroscience to show why that happens, what you're talking about. Exactly. Yep, so please. you actually when you make a decision, what happens is you start to visualize it. So let's think of a really easy example. You decide you want to go on a vacation because most people can manifest that right mm -hmm. they can go oh i want to go to florida and they start instantly when they decide they go i want to go to florida they start they start visualizing themselves in florida they mm -hmm. start taking action in that direction and then their their neural wiring actually shifts and they start to track for the opportunity so it's called your ras your reticular activating system actually mm -hmm. starts to scan your environment for what you want to create so, you know, in a vacation, it's really easy because you can get online, you can book it that day, you can start, you know, adding up the dollars you need for all the fun things you want to do in Florida, and then you make it happen. You go to from point A to point Z really quickly and easily. When we're thinking about something that's a little more abstract, like our business, we got to create our future self and step into that vision, right? So we decide, we take action, and we step into the vision of it. And then your RAS does the job to magnetize things your way. Opportunities come to, into your perception that you weren't noticing before because you made the decision and you mm -hmm. shaped, you rewired your brain. It's really cool stuff. Like there's really neuros cool. neuroscience in the next 20 years. I'm like, oh, if I wish I could live 10 lives because I would also be a neuroscientist. Nice. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> That's good. But you just tied the scientific proof that yeah. yes, what you visualize can actually come to reality. You just got to be persistent with it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that belief part, the underlying belief part is where a lot of people get stuck. So mm -hmm. we, we think like, well, I want this. Why am I not getting it right in the law of attraction? Well, mm -hmm. the reason is because we're run by 95% of our subconscious. And if 95% of you doesn't believe that you actually deserve it, doesn't believe that you're capable of it, that's what you're going to get. That's the result you're going to get. So I call mm -hmm. this competing commitments. When you're what you say you want is out of alignment with what you're getting, it means you have unconscious and conscious blocks and they want different things. And your uh, subconscious is always going to win because it's 95 percent of you. Right. Powerful. So I, that's what we I help people do. Bring the unconscious. Okay. Conscious. You got to say share. that again. I yeah. know it's a mouthful, <laughs> but you got to <laughs> you got to say that again just to make sure people got it. What exactly what you're saying, com those competing thoughts there. Totally. Okay. So it's called, I call it competing commitments. So if you are a person and you're noticing yourself say you want one thing, but you're getting another thing, you know, you have competing commitments because otherwise, why wouldn't you be able to get it? Right. And, and most people go, well, the law of attraction doesn't work. No, it's because you have unconscious blocks to what you want. 
So your, your conscious and your unconscious are out of alignment and 95% of us is run by our unconscious. So if those don't align, you're not going to be able to get there. So most people, that's why we, we talk about mindset. Like it's, you know, a lot of people have heard the term mindset, but mindset really in its deepest form, which is why, you know, I'm like so into the subconscious drivers is because the belief has to be there in your being, you know, it to be true. You know, you can get there. That's when you're in alignment, right? So what you want is aligned action, conscious action in the direction you want so that you can get there. But you're going to keep bumping up against those blocks because the second you step into entrepreneurship, you're outside of your comfort zone and your comfort zone wants to keep you safe. And so it will, I call it the inner critic leash. It, the leash gets <laughs> tighter and it's like, don't go outside of my comfort zone. You're scaring right. me. I don't know how to keep you safe. So you've got I to start it. to use strategies to help you up level and stretch your comfort zone so you can get where you want to go. Wow. Oh, you're getting good. Just good stuff. Okay. So if somebody's going to want to book you based on what you just said. These <laughs> last just five say, yes, because my conscious and my subconscious are battling um, yeah. with each other. And basically if I'm, understanding what you're saying here. This is the point where you, when you do that self-assessment, you figure out what it is you truly believe about yourself and your yes. ideas. So if it's not coming into my reality, then am I really embracing that? Do I really believe? Am exactly. I fully persuaded in my own mind that this is what I want to be? This is what I want to do. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, That's good stuff. Real and good everybody, stuff. Everybody, everybody has this, right? Like, right. I mean, I've never met a person yet who doesn't have some form of block going on, and that's why you know it's helpful to listen to shows like this, watch shows like this, get coaches, like get help because you need that outside perspective to help you see what you can't see. Yeah, absolutely. So at this point, I mean, we did put the, your information in the comments, but just verbally, visibly, go ahead and let people know how they can contact with you. What do you have to offer? Yeah, let's talk about that right now. Cool. So many cool things. Um, like I've got a ton of free stuff. So if first, if you like podcasts, listen, I have a podcast called Max Potential Habits. So Max Potential Habits podcast, I put out two every week. One's me uh, solo and then one interview. So that's there. Victor's coming on. So we got, yeah, you can come on too, Lakita. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yep, yep. So there's, that's a free, that's a free thing you can learn every week. Powerful stuff. Um, I have an, a master class that's totally free and teaches a lot of the things I was just talking about. So that's, if you go to ownyourinnerboss.com, ownyourinnerboss.com, you'll get a mini course that will teach you tricks in, a, in less than an hour. You'll learn some really great trips, tricks. That leads you to a 30 day boot camp. So I have a 30 day boot camp. This one's a paid for course. It's 30 strategies that you'll get every day for 30 days to help you up level your mindset. And it's like everything I've learned through all of my research, all of the things I've done on myself and all the things I've done with my clients are packed into that course. And the coolest thing about that course is that it gives you access to me every week in office hours. So 90 minutes a week, I'm on office hours and you can ask me anything you want about building your business mindset, you know? So it's just a really great way to start working with me for a really small amount. Cause you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching is a lot more expensive than entering sure. in through the course. Right. So gotcha. for those and that are interested in, uh, the thing that Dr. Amanda was just speaking about. If you look in the comments section, um, and though comment section are available to our audiences across Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, and Twitter, if you go into those comment sections, you will see uh, links to her boot camp. The um, there's a link to the uh, own your own uh, own your inner boss link there for her mindset uh, masterclass, business mindset masterclass, and also there is a link in the comment section as well to her website there at uh, www.drbarrientes.com. Uh, so reach out. I know that she's given a ton of knowledge here in just less than 30 minutes. And <laughs> yes. you got to know, I know if you're listening to this, I don't care what platform you're on, there is something in there for everyone. Reach out to her and start your journey. Or if you're already on your journey, improve your journey. You know, we, we never get we, there's never a place where we have too much in our inner circle uh, where people are, who are influencing us in a positive way. 
in our circle. I love it. Throughout your story, you were talking about the different podcasts that you listen to, YouTube and different things. And if you want to continue on your journey in a very positive way, you've got to have a, a wealth of resources that you can pull from that can help you reach your desired results in your life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm kind of curious about, so again, you know, I, I love studying people's websites and, you know, their social before these interviews, just to kind of see what activity has been going on. And you are busy, 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 first of all. Uh, so thank you for sharing this great intellect that you have, because it's really going to get people where they need to be. But I'm looking at the people you've coached, lawyers. I mean, you got mediators, real estate people. So one question that I have, you know, is a lot of entrepreneurs that come across my path. You know, I, I help people with their credit. A lot of them are looking to get financing for their small business. Others are trying to get their first home or start investing in property. So they realize that credit is a part of that, that whole piece. So I'm able to help them there. But what about the folks that are struggling financially? They got all the motivation. They, they have the desire. They even have a business plan. They know exactly what they want for their business. How can you coach or what's one or two good nuggets that you could share with somebody who's just struggling financially? They know where they want to go with their business, but they can't get to the next level just because the money just isn't there. What would you coach somebody on or something in that situation? Well, first, I would ask, why do they think the money's not there? You know, <laughs> right? Because I was on food stamps and I figured out a way and that investment in myself led me to open the door to all kinds of opportunity. So whenever we think there's not enough money there, it's a mindset issue, right? So you always first want to ask yourself, where can I be resourceful? Where can I pivot? Where can I find money that I didn't see before? So you should always be looking for money, right? Like, I don't care if you're walking down the street and you see a penny on the ground, pick it up and say thank you to the universe because <laughs> you're right. finding money, <laughs> right? Like, it yep. was really cool. I was reading a manifestation book one day and in the exercise for the day was like, look for money everywhere. And I was like, weird. I just cleaned all my clothes, my closet. I clean like I'm not going anywhere today because I work from home. I'm like, where am I going to find money? And then all of a sudden I was like, I haven't checked my Venmo account in a while. And I got on Venmo and I had $200 sitting in there. You see? Look like at that. money, right? So it might show up in different ways, but it's like, where can you get resourceful? Where can you partner? Where can you create joint ventures? Where can you start? So instead of focusing on what you don't have, focus on what you have mm -hmm. and what you want to create, right? Because what we focus on expands. So if you're focusing on the debt and the fear, you're going to get more debt and fear. If you're focusing on possibility and opportunity, you're going to get more possibility and opportunity. So I, you know, it's, no one could argue with me that like, oh, you don't have enough money to do something because I literally did not. I, my rent was $1,400 a month. I made $1,800 a month and I still found a way to get to that course and change my life. Mm -hmm. So get on podcasts, a a shift. If you're in a financial situation where you feel like I don't have the money I want, you got to work on your mindset and your beliefs around money. And you've got to start shifting all of your focus and energy toward becoming a wealth builder. So mm -hmm. that's what I did. I shifted all my values and I said, okay, I am going to powerfully build my wealth. And I started reading every book I could. I listened to every podcast I could. I got on YouTube. I started hanging out with wealthy people. I created a wealth mastermind. Like I was just like, that's my next level. And so if that's where you're at, you ask yourself, how many books have you read about money? When I asked myself that question, I hadn't read any. And I was mm. like, oh, well, no wonder. And then I started reading and I started shifting and it worked. I promise you, if you dedicate your life and decide to shift, you can do it. It's not that you have an, an, an issue with the lack of resources to do it. It's that you haven't made the decision that you want to move in a different direction. So, so if, you know, my key takeaway, you can create the reality you want if you decide, commit and take action, decide, commit, take action. And that decision is based on your belief system about whether you think you can have it or not. Wow. So, it, so would it be fair for me to say that from something that I just thought about, as you were saying, when people have um, an issue with money that really the root can go into, I'm a, it's fear that keeps them from going there, fear or shame. So if I am in the situation where, you know, my reality says that I only have $75 after I pay all of my bills every month, mm -hmm. but the truth is there are other ways for me to go out and tackle those resources and get those resources. But my my inner mental blocks, fear, shame, guilt or whatever will prevent me from getting 
going out there and doing those things. Like you mentioned, J, uh, joint ventures and stuff like that, because I don't want to come to the table as the person without no money, but I'm going to talk to this person with money. So is it, yeah. well, that, that was just what I'm thinking there as you were talking. So when we're being resourceful with how to get capital, um, is that sometimes a major block that people feel fear or shame when it comes to uh, get, doing the ask, asking for the deal, asking for the resource? Absolutely. Yes. So, so, you know, common ones are, are fear and doubt and shame, right? Where we go, I don't think I'm good enough. So I'm not going to ask the people who I'm holding on a pedestal and thinking they're better than me because I'm negatively comparing myself and I don't want to step into the playing field because I feel bad about myself, but mm. then you don't open the doors of opportunity, right? Where when you look at someone, I love Les Brown, he says, you got to be hungry, right? Like yeah. be hungry. And if you're hungry, the obstacles are on the way, not in the way, right? Yep. So you take the steps in the direction of your dreams because you've decided instead of going, all I see is obstacles, all I see is my self-doubt, you go, I'm getting there no matter what. Like one way I like to think about it, uh, there's a really great book called The One Minute Millionaire. And they use this fictional story about a woman who loses her kids and she has to come up with a million dollars in 90 days. Okay. If my three kids were on the line and someone said, I'm going to take your kids enough. away unless you come up with a million dollars in 90 days, no doubt in my mind, I would figure it out. I don't yeah. care what I had to do. I yeah. would figure it out. So yep. do you have that desire to build your wealth? Wow. Light a fire. Believe wow. in yourself. That kind wow. of thing. Well, we have right. a comment I mean, here from one of our, actually it's Lynn Delgadio. She's a former guest. And she said um, she just wrote nice. a check for $100,000 and thanked the universe for putting $100,000 in her account. Uh, when we are in fear, we are in the amygdala or PCC region of the brain and we cannot grow and have inspired action in that state. It's important to stay in appreciation. Yes. High fives, Lynn. Absolutely true. And I love that you said this because I always tell people you can't live in fear and gratitude at the same time. Wow. So start being grateful. It reduces the fear and then you can free up your being to move in the direction you want. When you're in fear, she's exactly right. You live in the amygdala, you live in your animal brain, you live in the inner critic and you can't move because you're too afraid. So those fear beliefs is what's keeping you stuck. Your brain is what's keeping you stuck. So you've got to learn to train your brain in the direction you want to go. And things like she's doing, like write the checks, visualize yourself with that money in the bank, see what you're going to do, create a path for the money and start believing it's possible. And you might have to start small. For me, when I started, I was like, oh, if I could be a coach and just make $4,000 a month, that would be awesome. Like that was my stretch zone. Then I made the 4,000. I'm like, ooh, what about six? Ooh, what about 10? Ooh, what about 20? Ooh, what about 25, right? And then I just kept up leveling and up leveling and up leveling. And now my next stretch is, okay, $83,334 a month is a million dollars a year. That's my next stretch zone. And then when I get there, I don't know where it will go. But you you know, if you, if you stretched it, it's kind of like if you were sitting on the couch and you on January January 1st, you, you're a total couch potato and you all of a sudden go, I want to run a marathon. Your being instantly goes BS. You're full <laughs> of crap. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it's the same. If all that you're sitting on your couch, you're going, I'm going to make a million dollars and you have zero in the bank and you don't have any path, your brain's going to go like, yeah, right. So what about going like, okay, this month I want to up level by a hundred, then stretch it a little, stretch it and keep stretching it so that you cannot trigger your subconscious into going, you're full of crap. Right. And so uh, a lot to unpack there. That's a lot of good information. That, that's tremendous. I mean, because so the first thing is what I'm getting from that is and, and I study this stuff as well, but this is a doctor's perspective. So I want to kind of break it down for us layman's out there. So first of all, you got to be looking at things from the affirmative. You cannot look at it as if it's already a negative. So like you mentioned, if you're saying, man, I got all this debt, I'm behind in my bills. I don't have enough money. That's what's going to continue to like be the reality for you. But just like uh, Lynn says on here, she, you know, writing her check out for 100 grand, already envisioning. I even take it further when I'm talking to people like, what outfit will I have on that day? What cologne am I going to have the day yeah. that I get this check in my account? Like, I need to feel the feeling associated with that moment. And, you know, and so I really love that that you're saying that. But, folks. Start looking at things from the positive. Start expecting it to happen instead of, you know, thinking it won't happen. Like you said, what you focus on expands. So if you focus on I already have it, then it's on the way. And I love I listen to a meditation every day 
um, by um, my, my guy. What's the comedian? Oh, my God, Jim Carrey. And what Jim Carrey talks about that million dollar, $10 million check that he wrote uh. for himself, Thanksgiving of 92. And by Thanksgiving 95, he got $10 million for doing Dumb and Dumber or whatever the so movie. Cool. And so, but he was homeless at this time. And he said he would drive up and down you know, Rodeo Drive in Hollywood and like, yeah, I already have that house. I just don't physically have it right now. And like, you have yeah. to claim this stuff for it to be part of your reality. So thank you so much for bringing that to our to our audience today. That is Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I love, I'm reading these comments. I love them. So cool. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's it. That's how awesome. you got to do it. You know, yeah. Do you given us so uh, just so much great information today. And I know that our viewers um, there on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Periscope and Twitter, I know that they are like, if they're not on the edge of their seat somewhere, I'm on the edge <laughs> of my seat for them. Because, you know, when, when, you, when you receive something that uh, connects with who you are, it just sends you like to a, a higher level, a deeper level. It, it taps into that, that, um, that a part of your to into that part of yourself that just makes you happy. Like when I meet someone who can absolutely see and is absolutely going in the direction that I want to go, it doesn't matter what kind of day I was having. In that moment, my whole everything shifts. And that's what's happening here. I know that we have viewers that are watching across all of these platforms that what you're saying is very relevant to them. And it's no doubt uh, helping them to reach or helping them to push a little harder, to run a little faster. Or if they were thinking about giving up now, I'm not going to give up now. I, I got what I need. I know where to go and get more of what I need. And I can keep moving um, in that direction of my desired results. And, you know, those of you that are watching again, please go into the comments. We've left. Um, Dr. Amanda's contact information, her website is there. A link uh, to her business mastermind is there. Reach out to her if you have any additional questions, comments, or you just want to connect with her and, and uh, become one of her clients. Uh, please look in the comments, get that information, and you will no doubt uh, be very, very happy with the results that you're getting. So, Dr. Amanda, this show is called Create Your Future Self. What does it. your future self look like? <sighs> I love I first I love the name of your show. It's so so <laughs> awesome because there's just, there's so much hope in the future in when you're not in the fear space, right? Like I actually uh today my mantra was oh well, let's see if I have it up here still. Let go of past regret and release future fear so I can step into the power of presence to fulfill my purpose. I'm going to mm. ask you to say that again slow because mm. I don't like that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you want me to? Yeah, I can clip and paste it into the. Can I paste it into the? Yes, you can. Yes. You see. can do it in the private and then she can move it to live. Oh, cool. Okay. Here, I'll post it in the comments. So I let go of past regret and release future fear so I can step into the power of presence to fulfill my purpose. Right there. Yep. That. Yes. Beautiful. That right. Part. Like, here's the beauty of that. Like, <laughs> that and part. in that presence, you can create your future self that you want to create instead of having it be limited by regret and fear. Right. Yeah. Shame and guilt, pride and infatuation, resentment, all these things that keep us held back. So for me, my future self is totally free to fully express in the world my gifts, step into my zone of genius and make a massive impact and a massive income. So, you know, one of my goals through NFA coaching is to impact a minimum of 5 million people through my business, whether it's free podcasts or paid for coaching or whatever it is, the books, the speaking, things like this. I want to impact 5 million people and I'm dedicated to doing it. And that's what I did. That's my mission. You know, I want to help people up level themselves so that they can be fulfilled because that's what fulfills me. That's my mission. And so Absolutely. that's my future self. You know, it's like, how can we step into a place where we get to really, really know that we have the magic wand to create whatever we want because we're in alignment here and here and, and in the sharing of that with the world. Wonderful. Wow. That, that, yeah. Yeah, 
Wow. <laughs> Like, okay, because that just took all of my work. <laughs> no, I mean, I love it because again, you know, roll around in my head for a minute. <laughs> you know, because honestly, a lot of this comes from these fears, these holding on to these regrets and things like that. A lot of it comes from how we think other people are perceiving us. You know, if we could just be comfortable with who we are, how we feel, what we're doing, not worried like right now, you know, this is probably the best time for most of us in decades because everybody's going through something unique. Everybody's had to stay at home. Everybody's had lack of beauticians and barbershops. My lines are all crazy now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, we're all imperfect right now. But if we yeah. can be like this beyond this whole stay at home quarantine and just be okay with who walks out every day and obviously present your best self for you to make you feel good. But if we can just step out here and not worry so much about what the other person is thinking, trust me, they got their own crosses to bear. They got all their own fears Absolutely. and challenges that they're dealing with. They're really not focused on you the way you probably think that they're they're focused on you. Most people aren't. They're worried about themselves. And so if you can be OK with my past is my past. I'm here today. I made it through that. I'm still clean. I'm not cut up and broken up. I still made it. Thank you, God. I'm so grateful for that. And let's just keep moving forward. It just makes a happier life. You just feel so much better. So thank you for sharing that. I love this mantra. I let go of past regret and release future fear so I can step into the power of presence to fulfill my purpose. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, That's better hurry on copyright down. Somebody will steal that. Yeah, right, you need to copyright down. <laughs> Release my future fear. It's like I'm not. I am going to be free from what I'm currently dealing with, and whatever you know the enemy has set up for my future, I, we ain't dealing with that either. Because that's just null and void. It's not that's happening, right. and all I have is success in front of me. Like wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Wow. wow. Good stuff. Good stuff. Anything exciting coming up for you, Doctor Amanda? Everything exciting is coming up. Everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's right. So they can just visit the website and definitely they need to get into that master class. Uh, we put all the links in here to the Own Your Inner Boss um, master class that you do for those folks out there. Again, entrepreneurs, pretty much everybody that watches this is some kind of an entrepreneur or doing a side hustle. So I'm sure you could benefit from it. We ask you to go ahead and check her out, reach out to her, visit her website. Uh, we also put the LinkedIn link in here, connect with her. She's always putting good stuff out there. I just want to thank you, Dr. Amanda, just for being who you are. Thank you for sharing your positivity, your scientific knowledge, you know, giving us some of that grad school wisdom that you have and just sharing the part of you that may not be so fun to share all the time that, you know, you cheated on your husband, you had a divorce, all that other stuff. But look at you now, six figure coaching business. You're helping thousands of people. So thank you so much for for your talent and for sharing it with you us. You are too. so welcome. Thank you too for letting me be here. I, I It's like my favorite thing ever to talk, have these conversations and share what I've learned with people because I want us all to thrive. You know, so thank Absolutely. you. I appreciate both of you as well. Oh, thank, no you. Problem. thank you. It's, it's totally been um, totally been my pleasure uh, even having this conversation, because one of the things that I love about having guests on the show, because the majority of all last year, we did have we didn't have guests. It was just Vic and I. And mm -hmm. now this year we have made it um, a commitment to try to every Monday have guests. And I like that because I never leave empty. Every yeah. every guest as value to my life. And yep. I, but I know you have definitely added tons of value uh, to my life and I will be clicking on your mastermind. <laughs> there you go. I want to know more. See? I want to know more because beautiful. Awesome. When, you, when somebody who is inspiring, you have a very inspiring story. You're very authentic. And I just really love the way you delivered this conversation. Those are the type of people that I definitely want to know more from and learn more from. So I will be clicking on that link. Everybody who's out there, Facebook, YouTube, uh, Periscope, Twitter, I highly suggest you click on the link as well. Um, and again, thank you again for coming. We had a great time this evening. Uh, for those of you who follow us weekly, thank you so, so much for uh for following, for supporting. I know I, there's no doubt. I usually say, if you found, I know you found value in this conversation today. 
you had to have found value in this conversation today. Please like and share the broadcast on Facebook, like and share the broadcast on uh, Periscope, like and share on Twitter, uh, subscribe there on YouTube and like that and, and share that YouTube link with people who you know for sure will benefit from this conversation and from making that connection uh, with Dr. Amanda. Uh, well, Vic, if you don't have anything else, sir, Dr. Amanda, do you have anything else before we wrap it up? I, I could go on for hours, but <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. I, I will just say, remember, really, you have the power to create your reality if you believe in yourself. So work on mindset training. I really do think and obviously I'm biased because that's what I do, but I do it because I know it works and I do yeah. it because it's the fastest way to get from A to Z. And that's what I've learned in all these years. It's like, ah, oh, you have a magic wand to create your reality. Believe it. Know it. Don't be stuck in that awful place. I know I've been there where money was on my mind all day long, every day in fear and doubt. You don't have to be stuck in that place anymore. You can create a business you love, make money doing exactly what you love and create the life you want. It's not going to happen overnight, but it can happen. And believe that and take action. So deci decide, commit, take action. Decide, commit, and take action. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is wonderful. We appreciate you coming out. And I guess there is one thing I'll say to kind of summarize some of this again, the part of my Jim Carrey meditation. He says, every thought and every word is pregnant with the next reality for you. So if you think you about it. it, every word that you say and every action that you take is impregnate, impregnating your next words or your next mm. actions in life. So think about that really, how you're speaking, how you're acting, how you're maneuvering, how you're thinking, and let that be the reality that you create for yourself. That's all I got, Laquita. Thank you. Always a pleasure to be here with you. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Mondays. It's the most consistent thing in life right now, baby. Tune in to us at 6 p.m. on Mondays. We're always here. And thank you so much for uh, following us. Make sure you subscribe um, to the YouTube. And also, if you're interested in registering for future Create Your Future Self Lives, uh, shoot us an email at createyourfutureselflive at gmail.com. That's all I got. Awesome. 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 Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I had a great time and I'm looking forward to our guests next Monday at 6 p.m. Take care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.